<laughs> Wednesday's session in Moranga was a feisty one, one that has now seen Governor Mwangiwa area fighting for his political survival. So the motion has been carried. 34 members of this county assembly want to area out of the way. 15 support him dearly. We stood with him simply because the 2.5 billion that was mentioned, it has been used for the development of the Moranga County project within the whole county and within the five, 35 wards. Wa area had moved to court seeking to stop Moranga Speaker Nduate Kariuki from forwarding the Assembly's motion to the Senate on grounds that he wasn't given a chance to defend himself, but the High Court declined. The opportunity to be heard by an impartial decision maker is at the heart of the rules of natural justice and procedural fairness. On this ground alone, the impeachment is null and void. The contest between supporters of the impeachment motion and those against continues to build up, even as the ball now moves to the Senate's court. We, at the Council, believe that the allegations against Mwangi Wairia are as a result of the usual challenges that are experienced, experienced in our counties, particularly delayed disbursements. We are informed that huge bills have accumulated, most of which are from the, the liabilities of former local authorities. That the National Treasury has, for over four months now, failed to disburse, disburse, to disburse development funds to the county, leading to more accumulated bills, amongst other challenges. These are not grounds for impeachment of an elected governor. At all. It is within our mandate that we are supposed to give oversight. The governor does not have any gross misconduct. And we therefore advise county assemblies to desist from any actions that disrupt service delivery in the counties and eventually affect the lives and livelihoods of Wananchi living in those counties. The Council of Governors says it will discuss such thorny issues such as the tug of war between the assemblies and the executive arms of the counties in an upcoming summit. Sylvia Chebet, Citizen Live at One.